Welcome. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Jen Hillman, and this is your beginner's yoga for sciatica flow. Did you know that your sciatic nerve is about the width of your pinky? It's the largest nerve in your body and feeds from the base of your spine all the way down your leg. So it's no wonder that so many people suffer from chronic pain due to tight muscles compressing on that big sciatic nerve. In this video, I'm going to take you through some gentle stretches to help loosen up the muscles around your hips, your low back, and your thighs, which will allow for your sciatic nerve to breathe and flow freely so you don't have to suffer with so much pain and tension in those areas of your body. So go ahead and like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments below. Then roll out your mat and we're going to begin standing. As you come to stand on your mat, separate your feet a little wider than your hips, almost as wide as your mat. Then let your body fold forward over your legs and let your knees bend as much as you need so that your upper body can really let go and relax. You wanna feel the weight of your head dropping down towards the floor, letting your shoulders and your arms hang. Feel the weight of your spine and your chest as you fold your body forward and stretch into the backs of your legs. And from here, we're going to gently begin to pedal out your knees, bending right and left, just slowly shifting the weight from side to side. You can go as fast or as slow as your body feels. And just use this opportunity to explore where your body feels tight and where it feels good to stretch. And if you come across any places that feel particularly yummy, you can hang out there and stretch a little longer and really breathe into your body, work into the stretches and feel more and more opening and space as you move. Then we'll slowly begin to make your way back to center, just gently folding forward over your legs. Then step your left hand to the floor right underneath your nose. Bend into your left knee and press the right leg straight. Lift up in your spine, twist your heart to the right and extend your right fingertips to the sky. The more you can lengthen your spine and twist your rib cage around, the more stretch you'll feel along the outside edges of your hips. So work into that space, allow it to stretch. Take one more breath here, then exhale and gently release, folding yourself down. Then we'll shift your weight over into your right leg and step your left foot back to the back edge of your mat, coming into a lunge. Now make sure that your left foot goes far enough back that your right knee can stack comfortably over your right ankle. So from this lunge, plant your left hand down, really push into the floor. Then we'll inhale and twist, extending your right arm to the sky. Exhale, release your breath, folding your heart back down. Then again, inhale, twist to the right, Open your gaze, reach your fingertips to the sky, then exhale and gently fold your body down. Then one more time, inhale, twist to open, and exhale, gently folding all the way back to the earth. Lower your left knee down to the floor behind you, and I recommend keeping the back toes tucked underneath you. Then walk your hands back and extend your right leg straight. 
Now, oftentimes people will want to sink your hip down to your heel, but that actually kind of bypasses the hamstring stretch. So instead, I encourage you to keep your hips lifted, maybe walk your right foot forward a little more, and then think about pulling back on your hips until you feel the stretch in your hamstring. So it's a very different sensation here. Inhale, lift your heart up. Then exhale and fold your heart down. Inhale your breath and lift through your spine. Then from here, walk your right foot across towards the left edge of your mat. We want to keep that right knee as straight as you can. Then step your left hand across your shin. Walk your hands around to the right as far as you comfortably can. Then fold your body down towards the earth. So this is a really big stretch here. There's a lot of stretch going on from the outer hip, across the low back, down the side of the leg and into the hamstring. So take some slow and steady breaths here. Be patient with your body. Take your time, slow it down. Then we'll inhale and slowly lift. Walk your hands back around. Heel toe your right foot back to its place. Then we'll shift forward into your lunge again. Lift your left knee and we're gonna step all the way forward, coming back into your wide leg forward fold. Let your knees bend as much as they need as you release the weight of the crown of your head down towards the floor, stretching through your spine. Take some deep breaths here. Then we'll prepare for the second side. Bring your right hand to the floor underneath your nose. Bend into that right knee and press the left leg straight. Lift and extend through your spine as you twist your heart open to the left, reaching your fingertips to the sky. Twist your heart around. Reach through your left fingertips. Breathing here, one more full inhale. And we'll exhale and slowly release down towards the floor. Now shift your weight over into your left foot and we're gonna step that right foot down to the back edge of your mat. And if you need to scooch that right foot back a little further until you can feel your left knee stacking over your ankle comfortably. Then we'll plant the right hand to the mat. Inhale your breath as you twist and extend your left fingertips to the sky, revolving through your waist. Then exhale and gently roll it back down to the floor. Inhale, twist and open. Reach those fingertips high. And then exhale and release. Last one here, inhale, twist it open, then exhale. Then lower your right knee to the floor, keeping your right toes tucked underneath you. Walk your hands back, gliding your hips over your knee. Then again, if your hips are sinking way low, Come up a little higher. You can play with bringing the left foot forward a little bit more, creating a little more length in that front leg. Then lean your pelvis back. 
extending through your hamstring. So when I say lean the pelvis back, I mean it's, it's really a tilt. So you tip your pelvis forward while you traction your hips back. So this is how we're gonna stretch in the back of the hamstring. So we'll inhale, lift your heart up. Then exhale and let your heart fold down. Taking this just a little bit deeper, working into the hamstring there. Breathe slow and deep. Then we'll inhale to lift your heart up. Walk your left foot across to the right edge of your mat. Then we'll step your right hand across your shin. Walk your hands over to the left as far as you comfortably can. Then we softly fold towards the earth, releasing the weight of your head. Again, this is a really big stretch with a lot of different dynamics. So stay focused, stay present, notice what's happening in your body and help your breath, help your body release and relax. Then we'll inhale, press up, walk your hands back around to the front of your mat. Heel toe your left foot back to its place then we'll shift forward again, coming back into the lunge. Lift your right knee and we're gonna step all the way forward to the top of your mat. Slowly bend your knees, bringing your hips all the way down to the floor. <sighs> and bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. Holding onto your ankles, let's inhale and lift through your spine, rolling your shoulders down your back as you extend your heart high. Inhale another breath here. Then exhale and lean your heart forward, keeping your spine extended as best you can. We wanna keep the shoulders back and the heart reaching forward. And again, we'll inhale, lengthen through your spine. Then exhale and fold your heart down. Let your head be heavy as you hang. Breathing here, slow and steady. Let your shoulders round forward. Let your head release down. Let your hips softly open and then we'll gently press all the way up hug your knees into your chest folding them into center wrap your arms around your shins and squeeze and we'll gently make your way onto your back Hug your right knee in towards your chest and you can let your left leg extend down to the end of your mat. Squeeze that right knee in. Give it a nice, good, tight squeeze, which helps to stretch along the underside of the glute. So hug that knee in tight. Then we'll gently twist your body, bringing your knee down to the left. Try to bring your knee as far to the earth as you can. Your hips will rotate. Your right shoulder might lift away from the floor. Just open that right arm out to the side and you'll feel a gentle stretch across the pec and the front of your chest. Then you can roll your head to the right for a full twist from the base of your spine to the base of your neck. And we'll slowly roll back to center, hugging that knee in one more time. Give it a good tight squeeze. 
Then we can release the right leg and draw your left knee up towards your chest. Extending your right leg down to the end of your mat. Squeeze your left leg tight. Really pull it in close by your chest for a nice tight hug here. Squeeze. Then we'll slowly release and twist the left knee across to the right side of your body. You wanna bring that knee as close to the floor as you can. And if it's helpful, you could have a cushion or a blanket or something to put underneath your knee if you need a little extra support here. Then again, if the left shoulder comes off the floor, it's all good. You can open that left arm to the side, roll your gaze to the left, and take some deep breaths into that gentle stretch in the front of your chest and pec. Breathing slow and deep. Gently make your way back to center, coming all the way around. Hug your left knee in one more time. Good deep squeeze. Then draw your right knee up to meet the left. Squeezing both knees in towards your chest. This time, lower your left foot flat down to the floor and cross your right ankle over your left knee. Then we're gonna press that right knee open to the side. You really wanna open it up here. And then we'll draw your left knee back up towards your chest. Now we really wanna keep that right knee as open to the side as you can. When these glutes and outer hips are tight, the knee wants to stay forward towards your chest. So you can use your right hand to press to the inside of your knee and gently push that knee open to the side. And then maybe pull the left knee a little bit closer. So again, we have a lot of dynamics going on here. A lot of sensation to be sure. Stay present with your breath and let your breath guide you into the stretch. Feeling into your body and discover how much is enough. Where is the edge of the experience? Allow your body to soften. Then we'll gently release, cross your, or uncross your right ankle. And then we can just squeeze the knees in one more time and feel the difference on that right hip. Notice how much more open it feels. Then we'll prepare and explore on the left side and see what the left has to say. We're gonna cross your ankle over your knee. You can take that left hand and Press your left knee open to the side. Then using your right hand, pull your right knee a little closer to your chest. So we're getting a nice, good, tight squeeze in that figure four. Keep pressing the left knee open as best you can and hug the right knee into your chest. So be patient here. A lot can come up as we work into the hips. This is an area where we can store a lot of emotional stress as well as physical tension. So be aware of what kinds of feelings might be coming to the surface right now. Ah. Breathe into it, soften around it, let your body open. And we'll slowly release, uncrossing the left leg. Hug your knees into your chest one more time, giving yourself a good squeeze of appreciation and love. And you can extend your legs down to the end of your mat, 
Coming into a comfortable resting position, your Shavasana. Let your feet fall open to the sides so you can feel your hips completely relax. Let your arms relax down by your sides with your palms comfortably rotated up towards the sky. Let your shoulders drop down towards the floor. Let your throat and your jaw relax. Let your eyes softly close and tune in to the rhythm of your breathing, the rhythm of your heart, and all of the pulsing, tingling vibrations coursing through your body. Stay here and relax for as long as it feels good to your body. Don't rush. Enjoy this time to be quiet and to be still. Thank you so much for joining me and for allowing me to be your guide. I look forward to sharing more with you in the next video. Until then, Namaste.